you know, we can put anybody on our team in front of Zion one on one. He's going to get to where he wants to go, and we're going to try to challenge it as well as we can. It was a frustrating game, to say the least. As Brad Stevens said post game, that the Boston Celtics have a lot of things to clean up, but finishing the game is number one. The Celtics were looking to grab a win against the Pelicans in their first game of a three game road trip to start out on a high note. And in the first half, they were dominant, leading by 16 points heading into halftime. But down the stretch and in overtime is when the Pelicans started to click on all cylinders. Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson combined for a total of 61 points as the Pelicans finished with a 120 to 115 overtime victory that marked their largest comeback in franchise history. You know, we're not never able to hit like the big shot or two to keep the lead where it was as they were coming back. And on the other end of the floor, they spread us out and drove us right to the rim. There are times where that is, you know, we could have done a lot better. We had a couple of major errors in transition, obviously, at that time. There were times where we could have handled the drive better, but there were also times where they just, you know, Zion Williamson and Ingram just put their shoulders down and got where they wanted to go. I think like in that stretch, um, we just, you know, went back to some of our bad habits. Instead of the kind of the stuff that got us to leave, like they were, they were listening, you gotta get off it. You know, you gotta make the right plays and, and everything else will fall into place. I feel like we gotta be able to finish games. Uh, I feel like we've been in a couple situations where we get a lead, you know, big at the half and we're gonna just get a game away back to them. Uh, obviously it's frustrating, you know, OT, but just try to take out, take out what we can learn from it. Up next, the Celtics will look to grab a win as they fly to Dallas to face the Mavericks on Tuesday night in their first game of a back-to-back. -back.